Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial, an iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a blurry video for a background. And then after I show you that, I'm going to show you another way that's a little bit, um, it's close. It's not blurry, but it's another potential option. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing we're going to do is grab a piece of video. We're going to drag it into the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and mute this audio so it doesn't disturb us. And the easiest way to do it in iMovie is to grab a title. And this specific title is called Pull Focus. What you're going to do is drag this on top, stretch it the length of your video, double click, and we're going to delete all the titles. And what happens here is now we have a blurry video. It starts out a little less blurry and goes into the blur. And you can't really control that at all. That's all you got. So that's the easiest way to make blurry video. So from here, if you want to use this on another video project, in iMovie, I recommend you just export it right now. So go to file, you know, export your video, go to your, you know, the high, better quality and name it blurry one. Okay. Then go ahead and export it and we'll do a desktop. Okay. So that one's going to export and now we'll have a blurry video that won't change. If you try to actually add any picture of pictures on top, so what's going to happen is the blurry title is actually going to affect the top one too, which is not what we're looking for here. We're looking for a blurry background and a clear foreground. So it's kind of defeats the purpose of doing it this way. So what you really have to do is you have to get this clip looking the way you want it, export it as a movie and it's almost finished. And then we'll re-import it in a new video and we can use it. Okay. So that's one way you can do it. Let's go ahead and let it finish exporting. So now my blurry one is right here and I'll go ahead and play it. So now we have a blurry video. Okay. So I'm going to close that. And what I'll do is I'll just delete everything in the timeline here and I'm going to drag this blurry one in here. Now we have the blurry and we can actually go grab, oops, go grab this one, put it on top. Cause it's clear. Let me shorten it a little bit. Just so you know exactly. Then I'll go to picture in a picture and we can resize it how we want it. Maybe even throw a border around it. Let's throw a small border around it. We'll do, let's do, oh, here you go. We'll do yellow or whatever. Okay. So now you'll see, let me remove these fade ins these transitions. Okay, here we go. So it's blurry. That's our background. And now our foreground here is perfectly clear, but the background is still playing. Let's shrink this. It's still playing and it's still blurry. And that's about the only way you can really get a blurry background in iMovie. Either you do it. If you only have one clip and you're not doing picture in a picture, you basically just drag in the title here that is called pull focus on top, double click and delete all the title. And now this area here is going to be blurry. Basically it's pull and focus. Normally it's designed, this is a uh, title's designed to pull focus. So you see the title and focus on the title more than the actual background. But this is a little hack here that we can use. Okay, let me go ahead and delete that. So one more thing you can do is not I not the best, not ideal, but it's not not a bad option is to what you can do is just click on this clip here and make sure it's highlighted. Go up to these three overlapping circles here and go to clip filter. And you can do something like romantic or there's another one called dreamy. Where did dreamy go? Dreamy, which is not bad. And if you threw a video, it would look a little bit, it, it looks different enough in the background. It's not blurry, but it's enough of a contrast change that, that you'd kind of get a similar look. Or what I've been messing with recently is if I go to the same thing, go to the three, go here, go to negative. And what I'll do is go back to our three circles and it's set to a hundred percent. But if you bring it down to like 30 something percent, 37 or something. And let me pull this video on top of it as well. And shorten this, make a picture in a picture. 
we get kind of a it's not blurry like i said it's not blurry but it's a potential option for you know a, a new look a look that has the background still playing but the focus is going to be on on the foreground video here and again if you want you can select it add yourself a little a thicker border or a thinner one maybe a thick and black with it. maybe even throw a shadow at it i don't know let's see what that looks like so that's not a bad look yeah let me shrink it just so you can get a real a real like look at the background so I don't think that's a bad option. That way you don't have to do the roundabout by making the blurry video, exporting it, and re-importing it. So it's definitely a good option, I think, that you could work with. And you'll notice here that it does have a fade in here. So you can change this, dissolve, or zoom, or swap. And I usually have nothing when I'm doing something like that. So I'll just put zero here. Or you can, you know, these little trigger, these little uh, controls here can control the zoom as well. So you can do it with the, the little tool here or by typing in a number here. Okay, so I think that's two good options to get that, that look where you have your main video in full resolution and focus. And then the background thing is either out of focus or a different look so that the user's you know attention is, is focused directly on, on the video you want it in that foreground. Especially when you're doing the, the up and down videos, the portrait videos. Kind of like you see what the, the news will do to actually, uh, since the video is straight up and down, you have all this wasted space in the background. So they usually blur the background or discolor it or do something and, and run the same video in the background. But the main focus is, is on the, the foreground video. Okay, I hope that helps. This is an answer to a question that was asked today. So I figured I'd jump on and do a quick tutorial. And let's go ahead and get this uploaded to YouTube. And we'll talk to you again soon. As usual, peace, aloha, thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. We'll see you next time.